Hey guys, hope you are doing great. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to make a flying UFO. Now in this tutorial, you are going to learn two main things. First one, how you can download a 3D model of your choice and then convert that model in .dae format because that's the only format which is recognized by Xcode. And then finally import that model in your Xcode. The second thing you are going to learn is how to interact with those 3D models like moving them or rotating them. So let's get started. So first let's see what we are really going to build. So for this tutorial I am going to use the sample project provided by Apple as it does the basic tasks like detecting horizontal surface and placing objects on them. The sample project that I'll be using is a little modified version of the one that Apple provides. So I'll put a link in the description and you can download that. And after you have downloaded, just resume the video and let's get started. So this is the sample project that I was talking about. So first of all, let's download the 3D model of the UFO. So go to Google and type in free 3D. It will take you to this website. It's a very good website for downloading 3D models that you need. So I need UFO. So I'll just type in UFO here. So the model that I like is this one. But this model is in .obj format. But the only format that is recognized by Xcode is .dae format. So what we can do is just download this model for now and convert this model into DAE format using a software known as Blender. So just download it. And I think you need an account to download this. So just make an account and then press download. So now I have this model right here, this UFO. So just open it and click on flying disk. And we need this one, flyingdisk.obj. So as you can see, this is currently in .obj format and we have to convert it into .dae format to be recognized by Xcode. So there is a software known as Blender. It's an open source software which you can use to convert the models from OBJ to DAE. So let's download that software. Just type in Blender. And you can download it here. So I already have it. So as soon as your download completes, just resume the video. So I hope you have downloaded Blender. So just open it. And first of all, we need to delete these objects which are there by default. So to delete all the object at once, just press A two times and press X and then click on delete. Now we have to import that OBJ model and convert it into DAE model. So for doing that, just go to file, import and select this option wavefront.obj then just select your model mine was in downloads flying disk and this one flying disk flying.obj just click on this and click import now the model is so big that you have to zoom out a bit so just pinch to zoom out on your mouse pad and you will see this model right here. Now this is too big. Let's just scale it down a bit. For doing that, just press the scale button and then move your cursor and it will be scaled down. Now as you can see the origin is right here and the object is here. This will create a bit of a problem as in if you are going to rotate this UFO you will get something like this. So as you can see, it doesn't look good while rotating. So what we can do is just go here to object, go to transform and click this origin to center of mass. Now the origin is at center of mass. And now what we can do is just bring this object at the center of this plane. So how we can do it is just click on this green arrow and then 
just drag it in the center like this and now let's just click this red arrow so now as you can see this object is in the center so now if I rotate it it looks really good it's perfect so now we can safely import this object into .da format which is recognized by Xcode so for doing that click on file go to export this time and click on Colada DAE just select the location where you want to save it I'll just select desktop and name it UFO now just press export now as you can see I have this object right there on my desktop so you can just click it and see what it's like so this is the UFO now we are going to import this UFO object into our project so for doing that just open your project this is the project that I have provided you in the description so first of all click this model.scn assets and create a folder new folder and name it UFO now we'll just drag our model right below this UFO folder so just go to desktop and drag this right here just make sure that these two names should be same and now just select this ufo.dae and go to editor and convert to scene kit file now just go to this virtual objects and this json file and type in ufo the same name which is right here now as you can see this UFO is currently intersecting with this plane right here so let's adjust its positions and its size a little bit so for doing that just go here and click this button right here there are two components of this UFO so let's just combine them and put it into one node so for doing that just grab this empty node from right here to here select it press enter and rename it to UFO and then just select these two the mesh and the flying disk and drag this beneath this as a child of UFO not like this like this child of UFO So now just select this UFO object and change the angle to minus 90. So as you can see it's not intersecting with the plane anymore and it's above that. And now this UFO is too big and we can see it from here. It says it has 11 width, 11 height and 3 depth and these units are in meters. So the width is 11 meters, height is 11 meters and depth is 3 meters. So it's too big and we are going to scale it down to 0 0.01, 0 0.01 and 0 0.01 so that it becomes 0 0.11597, 0 0.11597 and 0 0.3043. Let's just zoom in. Now as you can see our UFO looks a little bit dull right now because it doesn't have any light source so just grab this omni light from here and drag it above this like this so now as you can see it looks much better than before you can just change the position of the light source by clicking one of these and then moving it like this and you can also change the intensity of the light source by going here in this tab and increasing the intensity like this or decreasing it like this so I'll just change it back to thousand and as you can see it's a lot darker from beneath 
so I'll just drag in one more light source right here and adjust its position a bit to get the best possible lighting like this looks much better now let's go to UI elements gestures and open this file known as single finger gesture dot swift now what we really want is that first we'll place the ufo on the ground wherever we want and then if we touch the ufo it should start rotating as well as start moving up at the same time so the first thing that is placing the ufo is already provided by this sample code now we have to write a few lines of code to rotate it as well as move it in the upward direction so let's see how we can do that so let's go to this line line number 101 here you will find this piece of code and we'll just add in a few lines here so first of all let's see what this means now as soon as any object is placed on the ground in this case the ufo so when we touch that object this line of code gives us the object that we touched that is this object variable contains the object that we touched because in our scene there can be multiple objects like multiple ufos so it gives us the ufo that we touched in this case we just have one ufo and if the object is not nil we can perform our operations so first let's see how to rotate the ufo along y direction so it can be done through this line of code so what this does is it just runs an action on the object that we touched and the action is rotate by one radian along the y-axis as these two are zero and the rotation has to complete in the duration of one second now as one radian is very less rotation so we just repeat this rotate by action 20 times now what we want is to move this rotating ufo in the upward direction that is in the y direction so we can do that using this line of code now it just performs the action on the object that we touched and this time the action is move action and it moves the ufo in y direction that is the upward direction by two meters and this movement in the upward direction has to be completed within seven seconds so if we change this rotation from seven seconds to maybe four seconds then this movement will occur very fast so that's all we wanted to make our flying ufo so now let's run our application and see what we get and before that i just want to say one thing that if this video was of any help to you then please like the video and also i'm going to make a really long series of video tutorials on ar kit ranging from beginner to advanced so if you want to be updated please subscribe the channel too so now let's see how our application looks like